Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. We are the gatekeepers. I am Emoli Edwin. At Dennis Keton. Um, guys, we are still on double game week 29. Uh, matches were played. Uh, we saw Chelsea being beaten, which led to sacking of their coach. Nottingham Forest drew. Crystal Palace won. Uh, Brighton 3-3 against Brentford. Arsenal 4-1. Uh, the recent one? Leicester. Leicester lost. 2-1 to Crystal Palace. Mm -hmm. uh, West Ham won 1-0 against Southampton and Manchester United as we pre No. We predicted a draw. We predicted a draw. But I said it live on air that United were going to lose this game and of course they lost by 2-0. So guys, uh, actually another match was played yesterday, uh, Everton against Tottenham. So it's uh, the match ended 1-1. Uh, we had a scream on the 90th minute from Michael Kane. But anyway, today... On being on Tuesday, matches are still on. It's a double game week. So at exactly 21.45 EAT, Bournemouth against Brighton. Now, Brighton are uh, they are fighting for, should I say, for European football? Or, I don't know what I should say. Right. Brighton now at position 6 with 43 points, which means if they win today, they go to 46. Uh, just <laughs> 4 points below Manchester, Tottenham, and Newcastle in the battle for top four. So Brighton against Bournemouth. Wow. Who will be at home? Bournemouth. Bournemouth. So guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, if you see me dressed like this, me, it means that it's cold in Nairobi. Pogba is the warmest here, but it is what it is. Mm. So let's jump straight to it. Uh, yesterday's match ended 1-1, courtesy of a late screamer, as Pogba just said. Uh, there was a red card from Dakore uh, when he sh pushed uh, Harry Kane on the face. Laptop pushed. Kind of. It was unfortunate, but it is what it is. But all what that means, it means that Manchester United have dropped to position 5 as we speak currently. What that again means is uh, the push to top 4 is becoming even more tighter because right now, as you can see on the screen, three teams are tied up at 50 points. So let's jump straight to the game the first game tonight, Bournemouth facing uh, Brighton. The two teams have something in common. Uh, they are all playing their hearts out to achieve something. Bournemouth have been trying to fight uh, their way out of the relegation zone. And they did so well uh, last weekend. In their first match of this double game week, they won. Uh, they won by 2-1. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Brighton was forced to a 3-3 draw after they got a late equalizer from McAllister's penalty in the game which they faced Brentford. And the funny thing about that speech is that they're now equal on points. With uh, uh, who and who? Brighton are now at number 6 with 43, uh -huh. Brentford are number 7 with 43. Wow. Okay, guys, so the, it, this league this season, it's it's crazy. It's interesting. So when the two teams are going to meet, uh, I'm not going to underestimate any team. I know the work rate of Brighton. I know the um, I know how spirited Bonamouth can be. So in this game, I feel like it's going to be an opportunity for uh, Brighton to actually shine bright again. I feel like uh, they will rekindle back and uh, have their winning ways. Uh, Mitoma has made history as the first Japan Japanese to be able to score seven goals, or he's the highest scoring Japanese in the Premier League, and he can't seem to stop. He will continue scoring those goals. So this match, let me speak less and give it to Brighton to win by 2-1. Well, with me, Brighton is always my club. This one is, no, my second club. Yeah, this one is going to be another clean sheet for Brighton. No, yeah, for Brighton. So I'm going with 2-0 <laughs> in favor of Brighton. That's a clean sheet for Steele and clean sheet for Estupinian. Oh. And also a clean sheet for McAllister also, let me say so. So Leeds against Nottingham Forest. This one is another relegation battle. Mm -hmm. um, looking at Leeds and at the same time at Nottingham Forest, Leeds lost 4-1 to uh, Arsenal. Nottingham Forest drew to Wolves 1-1 one, one. One, one. after and, uh, a, late, a, late, a late goal from Podens. Podens. Mm. So Wol Nottingham were winning? They were winning, yes. Actually, to be honest, Nottingham have been pulling up some impressive performances. Meeting Leeds, now that Leeds will be at Ellen Road, I have a feeling that although Leeds, I felt like they, they, they played better against Arsenal, but until the time where they were, they were, let me say, they opened up 
but they 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 always play good football. But irregardless, in this one now since it's a relegation battle, this one I'll go with Nottingham Forest to win this game because the impressive performance they have been putting, I guess they are, they now know that the league is almost so they are trying as much to get away. Leeds on the other hand, they have a lot to do. So Nottingham Forest one nil. Guys, uh, Leeds have been playing well. The problem is uh, they have not been scoring a lot. Uh, one impressive boy whom I have to mention here is Somerville. Somerville has been doing all the impressive job, the runs that he's making. And of course, uh, right now we can say that um, uh, Rodrigo is back. At least he came in in the 60-something minute in the game against Arsenal. So I feel like uh, Leeds will be leading the way tonight. I'm giving Leeds an opportunity to win at home at Ellen Road. Give them 1-0. Leicester lost to Crystal Palace, meeting Aston Villa who won against Chelsea. The match will be played at King Power. This one, Leicester against Aston Villa, I'm going with a 2-2 draw. 2-2 draw. Mm. How did Leicester prefer? They lost. Leicester, they lost to Crystal Palace by 2-1. Which led to them sacking Brendan Rodgers, right? No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers. Immediately. So, uh, huh. on the other side, Aston Villa and uh, their able leadership of Ole Watkins, their main striker, the guy has been scoring goals left, right and centre. So he's actually made history, apart from Hurricane and Salah, uh, he's now, I think, the third player to have scored 10 consecutive goals in like three Premier League match, uh, three Premier League seasons as they are they follow each other. So congratulations to Watkins. Continue doing what you do. You managed to make sure that Chelsea are uh, lost in that match where you guys won two 0 So as they face Leicester, Leicester is a team which is wobbling. It's a team which doesn't have stability. When they face Aston Villa, a team under United Emery, a team that seems to have actually found their track back, I feel like even though this game will be at King Power, it's going to be a different ball game. So on this, I feel like I want, I wish Aston Villa all the best as they continue with their surge towards climbing the top of the table because currently I believe they're number 10. They're the ones who topple Chelsea from position 10 to 11. So I feel like uh, go Christopher, go Aston Villa, go. This is all gloves off and uh, believe you me, Aston Villa to win this game by 3-1. Chelsea against Liverpool. Now, Chelsea will be at Stamford. The, the last match led to the sacking of His Highness, Mr. Graham Potter. And uh, they are meeting Liverpool, a team which is uh, a team which actually this should I say it's a game of losers in quotes because they both lost their recent matches. Liverpool losing four one at uh, Etihad, Chelsea losing at home two uh, nil. They are meeting. Uh, this one, this match, should I just give in my prediction and leave it to the Chelsea man? Actually, this one I feel like the same same strength. Yeah, Liverpool is. Look warm. Chelsea on the other side, we don't know. We don't know. And uh, now since the, these guys will be meeting, I feel like the Liverpool squad is a bit able, a bit able. But on the other, on the, on the other hand, Chelsea are trying. So forgive me. I'll go with a 1-1 one, one draw. 1-1 one, one draw. Guys, <clears throat> uh, first of all, allow me to say this. Uh, this match, Chelsea versus Liverpool. Uh, the, fi the fifth time these teams are going to meet in a row. They have met five times. So the last five times they have met, all of them have resulted into draws. Yes. It's now turning to be like that. Uh, that Manchester fixture with Chelsea. We'll end it. So it needs, to, it needs to stop. So currently today I'm on your screen a very happy man. Remember, I've been calling out uh, Potter's out for the, for the longest time possible mm -hmm. uh, because for sure, for sure, for sure, we can't continue like this. Chelsea, we are just not any ordinary team. We which, are not used. Which number? We are, uh, we are number one from the bottom of... You mean number 11? We are number 11, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> so tonight I'm a glad man. Uh, finally, finally, Chelsea management, Todd Bolly and everyone, they managed to see sense that uh, Chelsea can't continue like this. So finally on Sunday night at 10 p.m. EAT time, uh, they man Chelsea managed to part ways with uh, Graham Porter. Uh, finally, it's official. Chelsea, uh, we are under a caretaker. 
So for now we are window shopping for different coaches. So of course different names have been thrown on board on who should be able to come. The number one contender currently of course is Nagelsmann. Though the challenge with Nagelsmann is still Bayern Munich are holding on to him because of the contract which he had until 2026, yeah. which means uh, it's going to be uh, Chelsea will have to part ways with quite a lot of money to be able to break that contract. So that's something which I know Bayern Munich are holding on to so as to bargain to because they were they are still paying his salary. But the guy has money. Uh, yeah, money is not an issue. But of course, we also have. Luis Enrique, we all know the record that he actually got from Barcelona. He's a very impressive coach. Uh, there is, of course, Pochettino, whom, if you ask me, I don't want him. Then, of course, there is Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine Zidane, if you ask me, of course, any day, any time. Though I don't feel like he's yet comfortable to come to England, he's always reserved about that. But it is what it is. So, uh, let me leave that. But, guys, just for you to know, uh, the caretaker coach will be Bruno. So Bruno, uh, Bruno, the, the second name is confusing me, but yeah, there is the man on your screen. So uh, tonight, Liverpool, Chelsea, or Chelsea, Liverpool. This is a game whereby two teams which have been super inconsistent in this league, uh, they have actually surprised many because most of us didn't expect this, but it is happening. Uh, the last weekend, last weekend, when uh, Liverpool lost, actually, uh, for the first time, Klopp was very honest about uh, how they are, and I appreciated his honesty because sometimes honesty dictates that the team can now open up to a good conversation on moving forward. So, on the flip side, uh, Chelsea with poor results because of uh, system issues, the coach wasn't consistent with the squad, and the players were not even certain on positions which they were supposed to play. So tonight I feel like the team will be rejuvenized, the team will be energized, and they will actually be playing to send a statement outside here that they actually can play well, they actually can get results. The problem which they only had was the tactical bit of it. So when I look at the strengths of both teams, both Liverpool and Chelsea, I feel like uh, we are talking of equal strength. We are talking of Liverpool, a team which has Salah, a big, a big game player. Salah loves scoring against big teams. Of course, we saw what he did to Man City, even though that goal never helped them. But um, it is what it is. So for tonight, I feel like Chelsea need to be very afraid of Diego Jota and uh, Salah. Uh, I feel like Nunes is officially fit, so he might be starting tonight. So let's see how it goes. At the back nowadays, Van Dijk is not as uh, solid as we, he was before. So which means he needs to be ready to face uh, the likes of Kai Havertz and uh, the likes of, um, of course. Where is Raheem? Rahim is still ill. He's ill, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know. I don't think he's still yet fit to play tonight, but uh, let's see how it goes. So tonight we have a different strategy, a different experiment, and a new guy uh, who's been with us. So let's see how it goes. So this is a match whereby all guns will be out. N'Golo Kante is officially back, so I actually feel like he will be starting tonight with Enzo Fernandez and Kovacic. So guys, prepare for big again. The only issue I have about this game is the referee. <coughs> the, the referee who will be refereeing this game doesn't love us. He, I don't know how he views football, but anytime he meets, he plays, he referees Chelsea's game, we always get crazy, crazy refereeing position. The Which, last time... That's Taylor, right? Taylor, yeah, you're right. Okay. Taylor gave this James <coughs> a very crazy red card. Same to Casemiro. Gave, cr Taylor, Taylor just has issues. All what I'm hoping for is tonight you better be rational, Mr. Taylor, because <laughs> this is a very big game with a lot of interest. I sense it be fit, guys. Please. No, no, no. We are just talking as football fans. Taylor, please be rational. Uh, everyone will be looking at the screen. We want an enjoyable football. Don't spoil the game. Let it flow mm. so as we can <clears throat> enjoy this. But let me not speak much. So in this game, guys, allow me to be rational enough and uh, to just state this. It's a game which, as a Chelsea fan, I would really, really want us to win. But the reality of the matter is progress is gradual. 
and uh, it's something which we really need to see how we take off from tonight. I don't have doubt with how Chelsea we play. We have a good game play, though we have a challenge in converting or scoring goals. On the other side, Liverpool don't have, don't have an issue with scoring goals. Uh, only have an issue with their defence. With their defence. For us, our defence is not as bad. We are okay. So let's see how it fares up. So I think with that, I'm looking at a goal galore. I'm seeing a 3-3 draw in this because <coughs> I'm considering that uh, on weekend, Liverpool will be facing Arsenal. So... It's a, it's a crazy one. So Chelsea three, Liverpool three. Well, uh, those have those have been Tuesday matches. On to the Wednesday matches. Actually, guys, in the fight for top four, like we just say, there's a rivalry <laughs> developing. It's it's developing like a virus slowly, slowly. That is Manchester United against Newcastle. Now this one was after United snubbing or uh, taking that uh, Carabao Cup away from Newcastle in the final fairly. These two teams will be playing on Wednesday, only two of them. One will be facing Brentford, the other one will be facing Newcastle. No, West Ham, West Ham, West Ham. So this means that whoever wins this match goes ahead of the other. Uh, that's a fact. Whoever wins this mat, mat, ma match goes ahead of the other now that they're level on points, playing the same day, same time. Manchester United against Brentford. The advantage is United will be at home. Manchester United have enjoyed a very poor home uh, away run, as you can see on your screen, from August last year. They started by being thrashed 4 0 by Brentford, Aston Villa, which defeated Chelsea, defeated them 2 1. They actually uh, then they went ahead away to Man City, they lost. Uh, they went away to Arsenal, they lost. Uh, they went away to Liverpool, they lost 7 0. So, but at home they always have a good record, and uh, I actually give it up to them. But tonight they are not facing just any other ordinary team. They are facing Brentford. Brentford, a team that actually have learnt a way of playing against them. Tony loves scoring against Manchester United. So I, I want to tell you guys straight up tonight, it's not going to be an easy game. I know it's not easy for a team to continue losing because they have been on a good running streak. But tonight. Take it to the bank. Give Brentford 3-3 draw on this. Manchester not getting any point on this. So any any they are not <laughs> getting three points. It's a spoiler or Brentford to win. Your home run is about to be at stake. Yeah, those so are wishes. Three. Those are wishes. The reality is, according to the home run of Manchester United, just to be fair, you know, I speak with facts, ladies and gentlemen. This one straight away, I'm going with United to win narrowly. Actually, when they meet, the 3-0, three, 3-1, three 3-0, nil, 3-1 three one, three nil, three one is always the score. So, 3-1, or, yeah, 3-1 in favor of Manchester United. Mm. Yeah, but uh, Ivan Tony is not fond of scoring against Manchester United. Oh, well, really? Tonight. Mm -hmm. Tonight. Tonight is the night. Really. But today, 3-1 in favor of Manchester. We'll be here again to confirm that. West Ham against Newcastle. West Ham are at home. Playing Newcastle, we saw the game Newcastle are displaying uh, this time round. Actually, I fear this team called Newcastle, just to be honest. On the other side, they are at uh, West Ham. West Ham will be at home. West Ham right now, okay. West Ham, they have been struggling, but at least they are finding some form. Uh, they have some of the best players, but I don't know what's the problem. But I believe now, since they will be at home, it will not be an easy game for Newcastle. And since Newcastle, uh, sometimes when a game is not easy for them, they don't lose, they draw. I'm going with a 2 2 draw. Uh, guys, West Ham uh, won, Newcastle won. If you ask me about uh, the two teams who played better, Newcastle played better. Far more, far uh, better. Far more better. Uh, Newcastle players are back, of course. Guimaraes, we saw his back. Isaac is back, of course. Maximin is back. Almiron is still on the bench, still injured. And of course, Trippier doing his super assist thing. Um, my friend, uh, Nick Pope is back at the post. So this is the fresh new Newcastle. They have won three games in a row. So they're going to make it four games in a row. And this is not a surprise when it comes to Newcastle. So I'm telling you guys this. Uh, West Ham with Bowen and Antonio and uh, of course uh, Skimara, Skamara, have to forgive me. Newcastle are going to come at you 
knowing that now they are favorites to be or to finish position three, they are coming for it. Favorites? So, yes. So tonight, Newcastle are going to win this game by three goals. In fact, it's a clean sheet, guys. The best defensive team so far in this season in Premier League. Give Newcastle a chance to win by three goals to nail. On yes, I said sheet, it. Isaac? Yeah, Isaac should score tonight, by the way. Isaac should score. Assist, Maximin? Mm, yeah, uh, or Guimaraes. And of course, uh, uh, this guy, former Arsenal player, he's playing Willock. well. Joe Willock. He's doing some impressive job. So don't be surprised if he's on the score sheet again. So guys, that has been double game week 20? 29. 29. Actually, other teams are suffering right now. But don't worry. That's the Premier League. Uh, Manchester United right now, we are a bit shaky. But trust you me, we will bounce back. Another results which we forget, we forgot to tell you over the weekend. Uh, Barcelona won by four goals to one. Real Madrid won by seven goals to nil. Karim Benzema hat trick within seven minutes. Within seven minutes, and just to remind you, he'll be meeting Chelsea. Yeah, on the eleventh, right? Mm -hmm. Then on the other side in Syria, um, hmm, the unthinkable happened without <laughs> without Osimhen. Inter, uh, AC Milan managed to win four goals to nil. Federico Leao was the man of the match. He did whatever he did. He scored a brace in that match. No, Sim has no So point. Napoli got a beating, though they're still on top of their of their league. Huh? So in the Everedis league, of course, Ajax are position two, which means Fayoud are position one. In the Kenyan Premier League, of course, Gormahia are still leading, but watch this pace because AFC won last time. Uh, so now I think they are position three, I am at position two. Mm -hmm. So rivalry is coming back. Yeah, because uh, God lost last their last match they played, so they should be afraid. They should be afraid. In the Tanzanian League, of course, Simba, Simba is leading. Simba under their manager, a guy by the name of uh, is this this guy. <coughs> anyway, yeah, so. Gormaya in Kenya, Simba in Tanzania, Uganda, 